Number 22, a large water main is 2.5 meters in diameter and the average water velocity is six meters per second. Find the Hall voltage produced if the pipe runs perpendicular to the earth's five times 10 to the minus five Tesla magnetic field. All right, so what is the Hall effect? Well, this is what it is. Here we got a pipe, okay? And uh, let's the diameter they told us was 2.5 meters. Now inside this pipe, you got water that's flowing. Now remember inside of, you know, water is comprised of water molecules. Now you also might know from chemistry if you've taken it, that water also auto ionizes. In other words, water can react with another, a water molecule can react with another water molecule and that can produce hydronium ion, which is positively charged. So let's just pretend that this is the hydronium ion, all right, it's positively charged. And it would then produce also a hydroxide ion that would be minus. So these now are charged particles that are moving, okay, with a velocity to the right. And they told us in the problem that that velocity is going to be six meters per second. All right. Now they also mentioned that the uh, magnetic field here is, uh, you know, that they, these particles here, these charged particles are moving uh, perpendicular, right, to the magnetic field. They didn't tell you which direction. So let's just make an assumption. Let's just pretend that the magnetic field here is pointing into the page, all right, all around. The magnetic field is pointing into the page. I could also show it here too inside the pipe, but I'm not going to, to leave it clean, all right? Now what I want to do is I want to find the direction of the force, all right, acting on this particular water molecule right here, all right? Technically it's hydronium, but you know, whatever. So um, if now you have the, velo if the velocity now of the particle is moving to the right, that means you're, remember we're using right hand rule number one, okay? Your thumb must be pointing to the right, and your fingers are pointing into the page. If you need a review of right-hand rule number one, please check out number one of this chapter. So thumb is pointing to the right. Your four fingers are pointing into the computer screen. And therefore, the palm now represents the direction of the force. So this would be upwards. Okay, so the force acting on this hydronium ion is upwards. Force. Now, it would be the exact opposite here for the negative charge. In other words, your thumb is still pointing to the right, your fingers are still pointing into the computer screen, but now the back of your hand represents the force. So this negative charge is going to be essentially deflected downward. So what actually happens here is that these charged particles, this negative charge is actually going to be deflected downward. Okay? And we're going to get some negative charges aggregating then on the wall. And what's going to happen to this positive charge? Well, the positive charge will get deflected upwards, okay, because there's a force pushing it up. So now we're going to get some positive charges on the top of the pipe, and whoa, we have positives and negatives now on opposite sides. That creates, my friends, a voltage, okay? So the voltage is created now. So since a voltage is created, guess what that voltage is called? It's called the Hall voltage. This script E sub H, I'll call it the Hall voltage, okay? So it turns out now that in order to identify uh, what the Hall voltage is, all right, this Hall voltage, we have a formula. It's going to, uh, the formula is that we have to know the magnetic field strength B. We also have to know the uh, distance, okay, between the two kind of plates, so to speak, the two charged plates in this case, or the width, all right? In this problem, it was told to us, you know, the diameter of the pipe, and that, that might change. But you want to just think about, you know, the distance basically between the separation of those charges. They call it the width. And then you're going to multiply that then by the velocity of that moving charge. And they both should have the same velocity. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. They're both moving with the same velocity. So simply now to calculate the Hall voltage, it's very simple. The uh, magnetic field they told us was 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. The distance there between those, the separation here is going to be... Um, uh, uh 2.5 meters sorry everything's in the standard unit and the v represents the velocity okay so the velocity was six meters per second take out the handy dandy calculator that's starting to look like a summation sign instead of an e but you know what it is so this is five times ten to the minus fifth oops syntax error five times ten to the minus fifth times 2.5 times six 7.50 i guess times ten to the minus fourth and that is in volts, okay, or newton meter per coulomb, it doesn't matter, all right, but that's the voltage. 
Guys, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that makes sense of what the Hall effect is. All right, and uh, I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.